So in this video, I want to demonstrate how to root the AT&T LG V10 and I'm actually rooting it right now with the LG UP um, for the H900 but I have the H901 um, version so it's for that and um, downloaded the rooted top <clears throat> so I'm currently on lollipop switching to marshmallow and this is the process I'm now at 21% and essentially what I did was I went to this website um, I'm going to put the links in the description and of course uh, went to the first page which is loading um, and it told you told me that I needed to get the LG uh, drivers so the, what I did to get the LG drivers was I went to LG.com put in the V10 model that I had and downloaded LG Bridge. Um, I was also able to make a backup through LG Bridge. You can back up your phone. You see here, that's LG Bridge. You install that, you also install the LG drivers. Then I had to download um, a couple of other things once the main page loads. Um, well, I can show you in my downloads because you'll see the links. So I had to see everything. I had to download the LG Bridge, which, like I said, I got that from LG.com. Let me zoom in and show you. So that's LG Bridge. from, And then I had to download the rooted um, firmware. I had to download LG UP new. All right, and I got all of that from XDA forum, which, like I said, it's loading. Um, I'm definitely going to put the links. And then once I downloaded them, the instructions told me to take this rooted zip, open it, which I did. And then it said to extract the top file. It's only one file in there. It's this one. Click that. Press extract. Choose your location. Say OK. And you extract that. Then it told me to take this LG new and um, extract that as well. So I opened it. Took out this folder common. Extracted that. Extracted all three of these things. And I put them on my desktop. Uh, here are the instructions right here. Now, I chose this first link, which was the Google link. That worked for me. Um, when I clicked the Google Drive link, it took me here. Downloaded with no problem. Alright. Just so you know, download it with out a hiccup. Press download and it downloaded. This is what the Google page looks like. So if you use the first link, it works. Um, I told you where I got the Google drivers from. Um, and here's the phone booting up. LG is good. Got the Android on the screen so it's loading up the firmware. So it looked like it went through the whole process successfully. Um, it says 83%, so it's not completely done. But it's definitely rebooting quite a bit. Um, sorry I can't show all the details of it rebooting because I am kind of worked backwards. I wasn't sure if it was going to work, and so I didn't tape it from the very beginning. 
So you unzip the top file and then you grab the common file that's, that was inside of this um, inside of this last file here. When you unzip that, you grab the common file and then you um, this is what it looks like really yummy. Paste that. Oh look, I'm optimizing. So it looks like I'm just about done. So let me go and show you where you got to copy and paste that. So you take that common file and you c c cut it. And then, well, the way I did it might have been the long way, but I went this PC. I went to <clears throat> Windows C Drive. Can't really see it, so I'm going to do it. So I went to this PC. I went to Windows C Drive. I went to Program Files X. 86 and then you had to go into LG Electronics LG UP model and here you see it that's the common folder paste it there once you do that you come back here to the home screen and you run these two programs the LG UP store and the LG UP 8994. The LG UP store, they only took a couple of minutes. Once you run those, this here, the LG UP is going to pop up. Once that pops up, everything is installed. Everything you need to run the program works. My suggestion to you is to restart your computer. Because a lot of times when you install programs, they just don't work exactly the way you want them to until you restart your computer. I restarted my computer. Then the next thing I did was right-click on this. I opened it as administrator. And um, I'm going to actually... Um, try to use another LG device to show you what I did after that. Alright, so it looks like it's finished. Let's go, let's open it up. 100% guys. So now my LG V10 on AT&T should be rooted okay so one of the things that you do with the LG phone when you want to get it into download mode which is what you have to do is you have to press the volume up key turn it off which is power it off press the volume up key and then plug the phone in so let me do that real quick once you plug it in this is going to show up on your screen right here. That's what showed up on my V10. And then firmware update is going to pop up next. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to try to get it to come in clearer. Firmware update. It's a little blurry, but I mean a little thin. All right, that comes up. You start the program. And you run it as administrator. Let's do that. Right. Okay. You want it to come in clear. And your phone. Now this, of course, is my G4 plugged in, but it's going to be your V10 that shows up. The next thing you want to do is click this. You want to select your top file that you just unzipped which is this you select that press open and then you press start and it takes about 15 minutes but as you see I just went through the process and I'm done and now we're gonna check it out we're gonna see it says um, let's get it to 
put it on a tripod since I think I'm going to need my hands for this. Checking out the new device. Newly rooted. So one of the things it says here is explore something new. So look. It's all started all over. Right? Now we got to connect to everything. Like new. Oh. Alright. Hold on. So it says it's second connection. There we go. Trying to get it connected to the internet here. Alright. So now that's done. Now we can go next. Checking connection. Okay, now we're saying tap and go. Do I want do I wanna get something from another phone? No, not right now. Um uh, well maybe. Let's see. They learn more. Um let's see, because I have nah, let's skip that. Alright, do you have a Google account? Sure I do. Alright, signing into it. Accepting it. Oh, I haven't had to sign into my V10 in so long. It's just like so weird to even have to do this right now. All right. So the last time it was backed up was today. But I want. Last use today. And they're not giving me an option from like yesterday. So I guess I gotta go ahead and say, yeah, 108 apps. Alright, set screen lock, not right now. Skip it anyway. Oh, Google Location Service. Alright. Next, next, now it says restoring. There's a way to kind of prove this is the AT&T. You can see AT&T is trying to get me to use one of their apps. And, uh... And this is something new. This must be something new with Marshmallow. Never seen this before. Low power location estimation. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Anything that's optional, I get out of it. My activity logs. No. All right. So let's go in and see what we're dealing with now. Of course, I prefer list view. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, and now that I'm not actually, um, using the computer for a second, I actually shut it down so that it'll focus more on the, uh, phone. So we are going down to about phone.
and you see it says it's the V10. Um, status, software info, Android. So it's not marshmallow. I thought it was marshmallow. So I thought it was not only going to be rooted, but I also thought it was going to be updated. But it's not. Still on uh, 5.1.1, which is fine with me for now. What's more important is that it's rooted. And so let's go in and see. There is super user. All right. Which lets us know that we have root. So, one of the first things I like to do to test my root, I think I got disconnected from Wi-Fi again, so I got to get reconnected. Browser. Alright, so now I'm reconnected. Alright, go back to the Play Store. And I gotta go get me titanium back. So, first thing you do to test whether or not, you know, you, um, have a thing. Now, I own this, so just trying to see why they're telling me to repurchase I'm going to have to write the maker and um, tell him I own this already and I need it to be reinstated for the purposes of the video we'll just we'll just uh, do titanium without Out and it says it's installing. It's achieved um, root on the uh, V10. And so now what I want to do is I want to install BusyBox because it's saying that my super user uh, BusyBox is outdated. So I'm trying this because I believe I used this one before. Um, and it worked pretty well. Um, if not this one, I have, um, uh, another busy box. Maybe this guy. Um, that I can install and we'll see how we can get busy box on here so I actually found out I was doing it the difficult way when you open super user and it tells you the binary needs to be updated you can press ok and it'll say do you want to do it the normal way or through twerp or um, clockwork mod and I said I wanted it to do it the normal way and it did it. Um, but I just originally skimmed past it and saw Torp and see Clockwork My Recovery and didn't think it would do it because I thought I needed to have that on here. But you can just update the binary right with right within Super User. And as you can see, I just granted Lucky Patcher permission. So there is proof that I have root. And so this has been rooting the AT&T LG V10 um, on Lollipop. I hope this video helps someone. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.